Hi everyone, Bacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Today I'm going to be talking about Magic Music Maker Free. I had a couple people inquire about one of my videos where I demonstrate how to record vocals. There it is there. Recording vocals. And I had the comments saying, my mic doesn't work on my music maker. Uh, and I try to help them, obviously. And other people say, I have the same problem. I have a mic plugged directly into the computer mic input and the program won't recognize it. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to achieve that. I've got Music Maker open, just creating blank project there. Obviously, as you can see on me, I have my in-ears plugged in and uh, this one actually has um, a microphone uh, included as well, which is plugged in to my laptop. You won't be able to hear when I'm recording what you see on the screen because the laptop doesn't have a separate output. My headphone and microphone are combined together. So what I'm going to do, you'll be able to see on the screen, you'll be able to hear me singing on the screen, and then I'll switch it over and you'll be able to hear how I've actually recorded using the microphone of my mobile phone or cellular phone, whatever you want to call it. Now, the first thing you need to do before you can use the microphone on your PC or your laptop is install ASIO for all, as you can see on the screen. That is important because without the ASIO for all installation, you're going to have some problems because the Windows driver are not really capable. Even if you are able to get audio into them, they will have so much latency because the buffer is so high, it's just not going to work. Okay, so you need to install ASIO for all. It is a free driver software. It doesn't cost you anything. Just install it. And once you install it, then I will show you how to set it up. In Music Maker Free, we go up here into Program Settings, into Audio and MIDI. And then in the list, you need to select ASIO Driver. Not Waves Driver, not Direct Sound. A Wasapi Driver is still, it might work, but it's still not going to do the job. So select ASIO Driver. And if you had installed ASIO for all, it should automatically select ASIO for all. If not, then you can use the pull down list to select the right one, which is ASIO for all. Okay. Now, in most cases, you might also see that it might install Magic Low Latency as well. You can certainly try that. And once you've selected that, we go into Advanced. And here we can see that the high definition audio device is the thing that I've plugged into, which is the microphone. And if you click on that icon, we should be able to see that I have two microphones because one is actually built in microphone of the laptop and one is the one I just plugged into. So your laptop or your PC might be different. So you have to find out and make sure you enable the microphone input and the output, headphone speaker output that you want to use in the list. Once you've got that, you can start the buffer size by 512, then you can start reducing it until um, it starts degradating the sound, you're getting clicks and crackles and sound, and you move the next step up. Because that will also give you, the buffer size will determine the latency. From the time you speak to the microphone, from the time you hear on your headphones as you are recording while listening to your music in the background that you've created in Music Maker Free. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can click OK. So I'm using the Magic Load Latency Driver. Now this should have installed with Music Maker Free. If not, then you can download the ASIO for all, and it's the same thing. If we look at ASIO for all, it looks the same, pretty much. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at ASIO for all just so that it's easy to understand. Click OK. Now, 
I'm going to just uh, put a drum there, a couple of bars. Okay. And I'm going to arm my next track for recording. And as soon as you can see, it says audio record. Because you click, it'll be media record. That's not what you want. And click again, then audio record. And by now, I can actually hear myself in the headphones. So let me see if I can. I'm not sure if it's going to come up. Anyway, but trust me, I can hear myself with a little bit of delay in my headphones. So let me uh, open up the recording option. There we are. Now you can actually see on the screen how the level is going up. And because it's a microphone, one thing, you don't need stereo, just choose mono. Um, it's 44.1 kilohertz mono, so it's all good. CD quality, whatever the audio we're going to get. And we click OK. We are now ready to record. So I'm going to click the record button. My track is already armed. And while I'm listening to the track with drums, I'm just going to sing something. There we go. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough of your love. I just can't get enough. Can't get enough of your love. There we go. I just sang something in the back of drum. You can see it on the screen how it actually recorded. And now I can disable the recording. Now I will stop here now and change over into my audio interface. So hopefully you'll be able to hear it as I play back what I've just recorded. Okay, I'm back. Now I actually have my Magic Music Maker connected to my audio interface is what you're hearing now, my vocals. And let's have a listen to what I actually recorded. I just can't get enough I just can't get enough of your love I just can't get enough Can't get enough of your love Okay, as you heard, my voice is there and um, you can certainly hear it. I'm just going to, uh, there's some effects there, maybe reverb, and see how it actually sounds. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough of your love. I just can't get enough. Can't get enough of your love. Well, there you go. So I just demonstrated how you can record using your laptop or PC microphone input. And I just use in-ears that have microphone in there. The plug that is plugged in there, I'm not sure how you're going to see it on the webcam. It's a TTRS, so it's got a microphone and stereo headphone connection that normally you'll find it for mobile phones, cellular phones, or your iPod, iPhone, whatever, plugged in there. But it is no different plugging into your PC if your PC has a microphone input. So that's how you need to set it up. Make sure you get ASIO for all, set it up. That is only if Magic Low Latency Driver is not already installed. So there you go. I hope this helps you out, and now you know how to record it, and you can go ahead and have a great time making more music. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio, guys.